it's Jenna from Secondhand Promised Land. I just want to say I hope that everyone is doing well, that you're all staying healthy, and that you're all staying safe during this time, and at all times, of course, but especially during this time. So I, since I'm at home, <laughs> and I have lots of time on my hands. I've decided to try to hurry up and finish showing you all of my 2018, 2019 hauls. So the videos that are gonna be coming out probably within the next few weeks are going to be short, very short. Um, my internet on a good week pre everyone staying at home, it would take sometimes over three hours just to upload a small video and it's just ridiculous. And I share my data with two other people so I really don't want to be selfish about that. So they're going to be very, very short. <laughs> Sorry. Um, actually, some of you might like that. But anyway, so in this video, I'm just going to show you two of my small collections. I don't have a lot of collections. Um, but I have kind of started some and I mean like one of them is very very small but I wish it was bigger but I'm having difficulty finding the certain items that I want at yard sales like I I seem to find one every maybe every year or two I'm not sure but anyways I'll show you what they are so the first things that I'm going to show you are these cute little tea bag holders. I have two of them. Oops. So these are by Lefton and they're called Miss Pris. So I found these actually pre 2018. I've had them for a while, but I don't think I ever showed you. And I, I got them at an estate sale and there were actually two egg cups with them as well. And I just thought they were adorable. I didn't really know what they were, but I love cats and I love like 1950s kind of kitschy cuteness like that. And so I went up to the lady and she said, <clears throat> 50 cents for the whole lot. So technically this set only cost me 25 cents. And I actually bought them because I wanted a tea bag holder, but then when I found out how old they were, I was afraid of staining them, so I just never, never used them. But I just thought they were super, super cute. Okay, so then, I believe it was last year, I happened upon this and this is actually my mom saw it so I have to give my mom credit for this but so this is the cookie jar in that set and I actually found this at a thrift store now I'm not a big thrift store person I love them don't get me wrong but the ones around my house are super expensive and I just I'm cheap you guys know I'm cheap. If you watch my videos, you know I'm, I'm usually pretty cheap. So, when I saw this though, well, when my mom saw it and then she told me about it, I just had to have it. And it was only $12.99, which on a normal day is expensive, but I know I've seen these on eBay selling for over $100 sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And, how could I not? So I picked it up and it has a few chips on it, but for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. I mean, for the age of it, it's in really decent, decent condition. So I'm really happy with that. I actually ended up not paying anything for it because we went with my grandma and it was close to my birthday. So she's like, oh, I'll just buy it for you. And it was senior's day. So I think it was only like, I don't know, like around $10, which is really good, a really good deal. Um, she told me, she knew that I knew that it was worth more than that. So she told me if I wanted to sell it, I could. I'm kind of hemming and hawing about it because I do love my collection, but 
I don't know. I have, like, I want to go back to school in September, so that costs money. So I'm thinking about selling them, but I don't know. It's kind of hard. Like, do you guys have something that you really, really love, but at the same time, you're like, why am I keeping this? <laughs> I don't know. So I have those. And then this is not left in. I think this is... Oh, man, I, sh I meant to look it up and I completely forgot. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't know if it's in Nesco, somebody tell me, but I got this cute little thing right here. So this, I believe we got in 2018 and we were at a, an estate sale and this beauty was just sitting right there. Um, I've never seen them before that, but I just thought she was super, super cute. She had that kind of cute little vintage kitschy, I don't know, this look to her. And I love that vintage candy colors, the blues, the pinks, the yellows, like I'm all about that. If you see the items that I have for my kitchen, yeah, that's that candy color is, is my jam. So I only paid $5 for it. I actually, I left on the price tag so I would remember that I paid this. I've been meaning to do this video for a while. And again, $5, I like, when I go to yard sales, I, pre I prefer to spend like $2 or less, I'm usually a dollar or less, but how could you not want to buy this? So this is called Miss Cutie Pie and she is super cute. There are other ones pink and blue and I've been trying to find them ever since but this is the only one that I found of it so and I actually thought that this was a like a sugar bowl but apparently it's a jam jar so you could use it for a sugar bowl though and I just I don't know if you guys can see but the cute little birds on top just oh my gosh just the cutest thing I love that cutesy kind of I don't know it's just oh I love it. So I did have a couple other things, but unfortunately I can't find them. Um, I know I do have a picture of my puppy pal. So Lefton has Miss Pris, but they also have a few other characters and one of them is puppy pal. And so I have a puppy pal divided dish. And I also had puppy pal salt and pepper shakers that I found last summer for five dollars and when I got home I found them they sold on eBay like not mine but somebody else's sold on eBay for like 200 and I saw somewhere that they sold for 302 and unfortunately I didn't bring them in fast enough so they got mixed in with some of my dad's stuff and they left the house and were sold and I was devastated <laughs> because they were so cute and I mean I was kind of you know I could have made some decent cash on that which everybody always needs some cash so that was kind of disappointing but um, if I remember I will put a picture of the divided dish that I have up at the end of the video so if I remember hopefully so the next collection that I have and as I said like these are small but I, because I'm buying things at yard sales, it takes a lot longer to develop the collection. I, I mean, I could easily go on eBay or Etsy and buy a bunch of stuff, but I know that I can find it for way cheaper in person at yard sales or in the one case, a thrift store. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to slowly develop these. So the next collection that I have are colored goblets and this is just something that I've come into probably within the last year, year and a half maybe. I only have, only, <laughs> have four sets but I have a feeling that I will probably be acquiring more. Again, this is something that at yard sales I only find very rarely and I only just started seeing them recently. So that's probably why my collection started recently. But I'll show you the first one. So I really wanted purple and I happened upon these, a set of these. So 
I'm just going to show you one because they look the exact same. But this one, I don't know if you guys can see the detail in it, the lines, but it's, it's super pretty. It's lightweight and there was a grouping of nine of them and she wanted eight dollars. So how could I say no to that? I just thought they were really pretty. I actually originally bought them with the intention of using them for my mom's 60th birthday. And I thought we were going to be eating like a really nice meal at home and having a few of her friends over, but we ended up going out instead. So I didn't get to use them, but they're super, super gorgeous. So that's those. The next ones that I got were purple as well. So I think I might actually, I might get rid of these ones eventually because I wanted something that was more of a darker purple and then I found these. I really hope that you can see on camera just how gorgeous of a color this is. The lighting's kind of crap, but, um, <laughs> and I apologize for that, but I'm in a basement, so. This, oh, it's more of an amethyst, and that's kind of what I wanted, and just, like, the detail on it, I don't know if you can see, just beautiful. It's a lot heavier than the other one, but really just beautiful. So, in the set, there were about 10 of these. And it came with about six of these little juice glasses, which I just think are gorgeous. Love them. So for the whole thing, I paid $10, which I think is really good because just for the goblets alone, that's about a buck a piece, which isn't bad. And it's basically like getting these for free, so I was really happy about that. So then the third set that I got, this gorgeous red color. I love these. So I don't know if you guys watched my Christmas tote, my $5 Christmas tote video, but I got these at the same moving sale. And I only paid $5 for them, and I think there's eight of them. Pretty sure there's eight. And it's just like this beautiful kind of ruby color, beautiful detail. I really want to use these for Christmas. So these ones are definitely, I'm keeping these for sure, because I can use them for Christmas or, I mean, Valentine's Day, really any time, but... Um, yeah, I just oh, love these. And the co like the price is just absolutely right. Because you can find stuff like this, again, on Etsy or eBay, but you're going to pay a pretty penny for them. Whereas at yard sales, more often than not, they're, they're going to be a f very small fraction of that cost. So then the final collection that I have is actually a smaller set and in in height and in um, number <laughs> of <clears throat> goblets that I have, sorry. So these gorgeous blue goblets are the most recent buy and I got four of them. So there's only a set of four which is fine because I'm not gonna be having dinner parties all the time or anything like that as much as I would want to. But I got a set of four of these and I only paid a dollar for the set, so 25 cents each, which is really good. I just, oh, I love the blue, the color. I just, I don't know. There's something about colored goblets that just gets me. So I can't wait to do something with them one day. <laughs> right now they're just kind of sitting on a shelf in a cabinet and I'm just waiting, just waiting to be able to do something with them. I think eventually maybe I'll start looking for more dinnerware and that sort of thing at yard sales and maybe do tablescapes and show you guys 
what it looked like and looks like and um, how much I paid for it and that kind of thing. I I won't really be doing that sort of thing until I move into my own place. So hopefully soon. <laughs> but I'm hoping hoping like probably at some point this year, probably closer to summer or the end of summer. So stay tuned for that, fingers crossed. <laughs> All right, so that's my, uh, I said short video, but it's actually still 15 minutes. I talk a lot. Anyways, um, hopefully you liked the video. And again, I hope you're all doing well. I hope all of your loved ones are doing well and staying safe and healthy. And oh, we're gonna get through this, guys. We'll get through this. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next video, hopefully. Bye.